Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. A group from Washington, D.C., CTC Technology and Energy, is in Prestonsburg this week to conduct a broadband feasibility study. They will tell us whether it's feasible for us to actually implement the program ourselves, have an outside contractor do it, or other providers. They have no ties to the retailers on the other end, and so it should be a completely independent project. The group has spent several months gearing up for on-site research. Prior to that, the group has been gathering background information, learning more about Prestonsburg, and understanding what the city has to offer. This week, the group has analysts and engineers on site. During their visit, researchers will have one-on-one -on -one sessions with business leaders, educators, small business owners, city officials, and more. We're engaging local stakeholders to understand their needs today and in the future. So what we want to understand is um, what their connectivity needs are like today and if those needs are being met and what kind of gaps there are in availability, what kind of pricing they're seeing today. Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton says once the city receives an affordable broadband connection, the possibilities are endless. It's all about quality of life. Uh, you know, we've got a lot going on here. We've got a lot for people to do now. We're, we're developing more and more. We've got a lot of small business. If we've got all this in place and then we have the technology to support this, it's going to open us up for more business. CTC Technology and Energy will be in Prestonsburg until tomorrow. The company is expecting to have a project draft by the end of June and a final draft by the end of July. Reporting in Prestonsburg, I'm Shelby Still for EKB News.